Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings and all star signs part time. We got an audience today. Just turn around and show the audience we have today. Aren't they glorious? They are awesome. Let's look at the overall energy of the week starting on September the 4th. Monday. Let's look at the overall energy first. Okay. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, mesmerized by, by them. Can you see them there? Hello, sweetheart. Anyway, let's let's get on with this. <laughs> Next week is not going to be that difficult. Um, you have the woodpecker and the dream trap and what it really means is that um, no matter what life throws at you next week you will be just fine you will be fine that means also when you have the woodpecker things may feel a little different or a little difficult either e uh, even um, but you will just be fine and you have the dream trap which means um, you will probably this week or we all this week should pay attention to our dreams and dreams have patterns, so if you see something that you remember from your dream uh, make sure when you look at your dreams this week, whatever you remember if you see a pattern, there's a message in there Okie dokie That's just the overall energy, so to um, recap um, it's not going to be as difficult, you will be able to manage whatever life throws at you but also pay attention to your dreams because there are messages in there and now we're going into, into Virgo our first star sign for the week and see what we got for the Virgo. And it fits rather nicely with what we just talked about with the overall energy of, of the week because uh, this week it's important to actually manifest your dreams. So remember messages are in dreams so it's probably a good idea to have a dream journal this week for the, for the Virgo, Virgo people and, um, and make sure you write down anything and everything you remember. Um, but you also have to be in your, in your soft side this week. It's really important, uh, you can't rush anything this week. So don't rush it, don't go for it. Um, and when, when it says here, for instance, to manifest your dreams, that doesn't mean you can do it all in one and, um, you know, speed things up. Um, so have a, have a calm week and just trust that messages will come to you in dreams. Going into Libra. So for the Libra people it's important this week to not hang on to old um, drama. Please this week let, let, go, of, let go of guilt and, um, and try to love unconditionally this week. Um, really. It's a, it's a good week to trust again, even if you feel I have really no reason uh, uh, to trust again, uh, please do. And um, other than that, reach for the stars, you know, go go for it. It's a really good week for you, um, as long as you too stay stay rather calm. And remember we have some, some noises in the background, it's because the, our little cattle friends here, cow friends, are coming through. Always love it. In any case, that was Libra going into Scorpio now. I can already see a little pattern emerging here because I said for the for the previous two star signs to um, be calm and now for Scorpio it's actually the same. It's really time to conserve your energy this week. Don't do anything strenuous. But also, um, this is a good week to re-merge. So if you felt, you know, the last couple of weeks have been difficult, welcome to the club. Um, this week it gets, it gets uh, sl uh, slightly easier. If I'm not mistaken, uh, one of them planets goes out of retrograde uh, on, on, the, on the fifth. And um, that means things get, get lighter. I, I don't know if it's Mercury or, or, or yeah, no, it is Mercury. Goes into, uh, goes out of retrograde. So, so uh, energies get lighter, get easier. So remember this, um, Scorpio people, conserve your energy this week. Don't do anything too strenuous, but really emerge from, from your cave, so to speak, and, and um, take part in life again. It's really, really important. Okie doke. 
Sagittarius, I'm drawn to the other deck. That's uh, very interesting here. Um, what I'm getting is, um, even though the card represents something slightly different, is um, this is a good week to wear um, crystals or tumble stones with you. Um, if you are in possession of older jewelry that has probably been handed down uh, and that, that you that you got, you know, your grandmother's stuff, your mother's stuff, this kind of thing, it would be very good to wear it this week and, and, and connect it. You also have what is called well, what is called a shaman, which means your guides are around you and you really be uh, you really are being watched over this week. And remember, if someone needs to watch over you, there might be difficulties. Um, I'm not necessarily sensing massive uh, challenges for for the week, but um, when you wear your, your 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 crystals, that's also part of protection. Right, so stay protected this week and, and, and above else, like in all the other star signs so far, be calm. Okie doke. Going into Capricorn. Hello. Going into Capricorn. So for the Capricorn people, it's time to let go of anything that you feel is holding you back or things that frighten you. It's, it's probably a really good week to look into um, letting go of some fear-based um, issues that, that you have um, in order to be really transformed and renewed. It's, it's quite important. So this is a week where you probably, you know, if you feel like you're having a trauma somewhere, uh, find a therapist that helps you with that stuff. Um, or if there's anything that you you need to overcome look at it stay detached from it as best you can look at it but uh, at least look at it again that's quite a, that's quite important so that was capricorn and now we're going into aquarius you are in the middle not in the midst but in the middle of, of important massive changes and you're going through them regardless whether or not you feel like you can handle it or you're not even aware but you're going through changes what is important this week though is to bury the hatchet if you have any issues with people let it go if um, you have any animosity towards people that you can't reach then in a way accept the apology you never got and try to move on from it so that's for the Aquarius, really, really important to bury the hatchet this week. It will not sit easy inside you if you take that feeling of being unwell because people treated you badly, for instance, uh, into uh, next week, right? So that's important. That was Aquarius going into Pisces. I'm a Pisces, I always say it every week because it's true, I'm a Pisces. And um, personally not feeling so well this week, I like to hear that. So for all you Pisces out there that, st that have struggled last week and struggled sort of this week, um, it's really Im uh, important to know this, that your guides, your spiritual helpers will infect you with joy this week. So things will get lighter, uh, trust it. And then the other thing is, um, for all of us Pisces, walk tall. Right? Really be in your strengths, don't get uh, bucked down, don't take anything on. If anything happens in your life, it might not be entirely your fault. I just read this, um, being a bit tricky, I just read this quote the other day um, from one of the episodes where um, Captain Picard says it is perfectly, uh, perfectly fine or possible to um, make no mistakes and still lose. And that's another thing that we have to sort of see here this week as Pisces. Um, see the bigger picture, walk tall, be in your strengths, and trust that your guides will infect you with joy. Right? There's another thing here, as you can see here, probably, I don't know, probably, probably not, but we have loads of flies joining us right now. And since we're working with spiritual animal guides, um, 
flies denote the fact that uh, you might not, uh, on a, generally speaking, you might not always get your dues. You might not always get the um, the uh, respect you deserve, or people don't see how much work you actually put in. All this is acknowledged this week and will get better. God, am I grateful for these ones. <laughs> so going into Aries. Interesting, because you have the mouse and the squirrel. Um, not too dissimilar as as beings, as it were. Um, so the the the, um, the message is this week to remember and to trust that you're stronger than you actually know, and uh, and don't allow yourself to feel small. Um, so the mouse, obviously, as you know, belongs to the family of rodents, and. Um, and the mouse is one of the few rodents, if not the only really, that is not scared of heights. So the main message with the mouse is that you see the world really for what it is. So, so trust your intuition, go for it. And remember you are stronger than you know. The other thing that's really important this week is to declutter your mind. And this only really works when you, when you remember um, that you are stronger than you think you are and that you deserve happiness. Right? So that's, that's Aries going into Taurus. Also drawn to this deck. You probably already notice I'm not meant and made for sitting. <laughs> After a few minutes, I always go like, thanks. Yeah. Going into Taurus. Taurus people, you're gonna be all right this week. You are fully protected. It's also time to shed some of your skin and uh, come out with new ideas. Uh, remember, autumn. Uh, we just, you know, autumn is just awesome. It's a time of change. It's a time of positive change. And so, be part of it, please. You're fully protected. You also have the sacred tree, which means um, you will be nurtured. You are, you know, spiritually speaking, you will be, you will be nurtured. So you're just going to be fine. Uh, you have the snake here, which is the animal of protection. It's also the animal of health. You know, when you go to a pharmacy, you see the snake around the cane. So it is uh, a symbol of of uh, protection and good health. So um, what that means with regards to um, being proactive is to, for yourself, be proactive and, and live healthily this week. This week. We're going into Gemini. I'm taking you. Oh, good. <laughs> Here we go. Three cards. When they fall out, they want to be red. Nothing I can do. So for the, um, for the Gemini, this week, monitor your energy. Really, really important to, to figure out how, how am I feeling about these things? What does it does to me? Is my life stressful? Um, are there things that trigger stress for me? How am I feeling overall? That's really important. And um, it's important to also know that uh, this week, again, another of these weekly patterns that we have here, your week has to be as gentle as possible. And there is a lot of um, strength in, in, in gentleness, being, being gentle. And other than that, it's important this week to be lighthearted, um, be silly, you know, play air guitar, do, do something that sort of lifts you up, dance a little bit. I do this today, drop my little, you know, old, folk, old, <laughs> old school, my little MP3, and I go, yeah, go raving in the woods. It's perfect. You should do the same. Um, so that's for the Gemini. Uh, you should do the same. Monitor your energy and um, be gentle. Now we're going into Cancer. Cancerians. For the Cancerians this week, you should really try to reflect on things. You have the feather and the deer, um, both uh, symbols of, of calmness and of looking at things calmly. Don't overthink stuff, not gonna, not gonna work for you. Also, based on these energies, um, it's not a good week to make any proper decisions about anything that, that sort of um, is about the future, really. Um, let things come to you this week. Uh, take it on, um, reflect on how you feel about things, um, but Again, uh, be, be calm, be in your strengths, and allow things to happen, right? 
So that was the Cancerians, weren't they? Yeah. So going into into Leo, still funny to end with Leo because for weeks we have started with Leo, but we're in the star sign of, of Virgo, so it is our last uh, star sign. And let's see what we got. Oh, isn't that funny? We got the cow. Just heard about a hundred of them here. I can still see one over there. Can you see it? Oh, I love them. Anyway, sorry for getting so distracted. It's just that they're, they're awesome, right? So um, for the uh, the Leos, you have the cow and the lion, um, and and even though the cow is not is not is not um, a wildebeest or anything, you you have two sides to you this week. You have the predator side and the prey side. So you have to find a way to reconcile your issues that you have. You know, be be a bit more persistent in how you feel about things. Um, if you if you find that you have to adapt a lot of situations, then that's not a good thing. F try to find a middle ground this week. It's really really important. And um, also, when you are trying to find a middle ground, uh, the other thing that's important is that your area, your life, your territory, stays safe. So uh, keep people that are argumentative or negative uh, um, at bay, right? And that's all we've got for this week. See you in next week then.